No, it's not. It's not a big issue. Um, losing another game at the weather. The, the big issue for me was losing to Harbour last week. Obviously, um, very disappointing. Uh, I'd have liked to have played today to hopefully, you know, get to out of the system. You know, with a home game against, you know, obviously Daventry's going to be tough. And obviously our next game is going to be more than likely on the road, whether it be Wellingborough next on Tuesday or Daventry next Saturday. So, you know, we've got a we've got a man up away from home. Um, I've lost two games since I've been here in the league. Um, both been away from home, um, and that's something. If we are going to be in the shake up in April, that we've got to we've got to put right because you know Obi should have beat us away. We went one 0 down against Selby away. We lost to Boston Town away. Um, obviously lost to Harbour away last week and that's, you know, that's not the, you know, that's, we're not playing with the same fluency we are at, are at home and, you know, a lot of teams are like that, I, I get that, but you, you have to find a way to win away from home and, you know, we've done that at times, but, you know, this has come at the crucial part of the season now, we really can't, you know, throw away any more points, I believe we've got 11 games left, I think, to win the league, we're probably going to have to win nine of them, which is a real tough task and, you know, we can't have any more slip-ups. Obviously, um, we lost. You know, we've lost Jam after a few injuries this year. We lost Danny Setchell for three weeks because he, he obviously was doing his, doing that course, which was which was a pain. Um, you know, we've had we've had a lot of injuries this year, and you know, we've only ever really, we've never really had a full squad to pick from. Obviously, at UCL level, you you don't carry 18, 19 players like you do at say Southern Prem level and Conference level. But you know, you have to you have to have a reliable squad. You know. We've brought in Jamie um, and Connor, you know, to boost the numbers. But we've lost Kieran, you know, for me, that's a, that's a real shame. But his his commitment and his you know his attitude weren't weren't what I'm looking for here. You know, when you when you're texting texting the manager on a Saturday morning, just telling them you're basically not coming because you've got other plans. That you know that's just not acceptable at any level of football. Um, and I'm sure he'll find a level to go play at where that is acceptable, but certainly not at this football club, certainly not while I'm here. So, you know, they're the, they're the things you have to deal with that people perhaps don't see. So, you know, we, we're looking, you know, if I go to the chairman, um, you know, and ask him if we can bring players in, you know, we, we, we sit down, we talk about it. If it's realistic, we try and do it. If it's unrealistic, we don't do it. You know, we're always on the lookout to make the squad better. You know, we've got lads, a lot of lads, people like Millie, Jono, Michael, Becky, uh, probably Murph, Willow, they've probably played more games than you should play in the season. I've seen they've probably played 40 games plus already. And is fatigue a factor? Possibly it could be. You know, we, we, we hopefully we can get the squad where we can um, start dipping players in and sack, you know, pick and choose the games where they, they can play because we need to be at our absolute maximum. But, you know, a lot of them would give this football club a, a, lot, of, a lot of effort this year to get us back into the position that we're in. And, Hopefully we can see it through for 11 more games, but you know, at the 11 games we've got nine, ten real tough teams. And, you know, you, you could probably look at OB last game of the season and think, oh, that's a gimme. But they probably give us the biggest run around that we've had certainly since I've been there. They absolutely battered us and we drew 1-1. So every game's tough. We've got to stick together. Um, hopefully we'll get the crowd down there to get behind the balls. I think they deserve it. And you know, hopefully we can get top spot. If we don't get top spot, um, we get second spot. And if we don't get second spot, then we'll have to come back next year with a fresh slate. You know, I'll, I'll probably be here from the start, hopefully. And um, we, we'll, we'll certainly, hopefully, go on to win the league over this year or next year for sure. But certainly, God's certainly going to give it 100% this year. Obviously, the start has killed it, really, because obviously, when you drop 12 points in, your first six games, 18 points, that's in the UCL, that's always going to be a difficult task, but now we have got ourselves in a position to strike, um, that'd be disappointing if we don't, don't go on and see it through. Yeah, I can't think about that. That would be so disrespectful to you know your, your 
Pagnos, your Holbeats, your Deep and your Yaxleys because they're all going for the same goal and we we got the divine right to win anything. You know, there's, there's a lot of hard work still to do for, for all the top five or six in the league. So I did have a brief look and uh, I think we were sort of um, probably looking ahead sort of more the Ryman route, if you know what I mean, your Durham, your Sudbury's teams like that, which is, you know, a bit like the old Furlow Nunsor area. So that's a bridge that whoever goes up will have to cross when they get there. But, you know, we're looking at, you know, I'm here to try and take the club forward. I'm not here to be a UCL manager for the next five years. That ain't, that ain't what I want to do. Um, I want to manage as high as I can. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm loyal, so, you know, if we didn't go up this year, I certainly wouldn't be jumping ship and going to look to manage elsewhere. I'd look to see it through for another year to try and get us to where I believe we should be. And then after that, I want to be kicking on again, you know, personally and, and with the club. I don't want to be, you know, I've done it with Lynn. I had two promotions and then sort of went staying for three years because I didn't get, obviously, the, the back end that I thought I should have got. Um, and I think we had a, a couple of top half finishes and a, and a 16th place finish, but never really had the, the scope to, to get it to the next level, which was, you know, you start treading water, that can be dangerous. So, you know, as long as we keep moving forward, um, and I'm moving forward and the club's moving forward, you know, there's, we, could have a, we could have a good time here over the next few years.